On the way to Callan Station, the troublesome trucks tease Percy even more. Clickety-clack, don't look back, dirty Percy's on our track. Be quiet, Percy snapped. When Percy arrived at Callan Station, he was very upset. From now on, I'm only doing work where I won't get dirty, he said. Harold, the helicopter, was at Callan Station picking up medical supplies. Hello, Percy, he called. And he took off, blowing cinders and ashes everywhere. Not again, Percy cried. I want a washdown. Usefulness before cleanliness, reminded his driver. I want to be useful where I can't get dirty, Percy huffed. There's a load of sugar going to the chocolate factory, his driver said. We could take the sugar trucks. Sugar, said Percy. That's nice and clean. Percy was pleased. Percy didn't know that earlier a leaky truck had spilled oil on the track. When he approached the chocolate factory, his driver applied the brakes, but Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh no! hooted Percy. Yuck! He groaned. I've never been this dirty. He was covered from funnel to firebox in sticky, gooey chocolate. Back at the sheds, everyone thought it was very funny. You look good enough to eat, Thomas hooted. Pudding, Percy, teased James. Chalk ice on wheels, chipped in Henry. Disgraceful, said Gordon pompously. Ahem! said a stern-sounding voice. It was the Fat Controller. You have had a trying day, Percy, he said. Yes, sir, replied Percy from beneath the chocolate. But you've shown us all that usefulness does come before cleanliness. So, he added, you shall have your wash down. Oh, sir, and a new coat of paint. Percy just beamed. Joe, you know I'm not sure the Fat Controller was that happy, you know. What a waste of chocolate. He could have eaten. Well, probably all of it. He was a Fat Controller. Uh, let's have a look at the picture. Here we are. It's Josh Tozier.